In this video, I'll go through an example to illustrate how to divide decimals without using a calculator. So our word problem is the following. Suppose a 2.76 kilometer stretch of highway is getting a barrier. Each barrier section is 0.012 kilometers long. How many barrier sections do we need? First step is to translate our word problem into an equation. So the number of barrier sections we're going to need will be 2.76 divided by 0 0.012. Okay, so this is a decimal division problem and it's not immediately apparent how we're going to do this because we've got digits after the decimal place and it's not clear exactly how we're going to do this division. So one way to approach a problem like this is to create an equivalent division problem that just uses whole numbers. And the steps for doing that are first to look at the divisor, which is the second number, the number you're dividing by, count the number of digits after the decimal place, which is three in this case, and then multiply, ten, multiply by 10 three times to change this number into a whole number. Whatever we do to the divisor, we have to do to the dividend as well. And that way we'll make sure that we're creating an equivalent division problem. So we'll multiply 2.76 by 10 three times as well. What does it mean to multiply a number by 10 three times? Well, that's the same as multiplying by a thousand. Okay, so let's do that. So 2.76 times a thousand and 0 0.012 times a thousand. 2.76 times a thousand is 2,760 and 0 0.012 times a thousand is 12. So what we've done here is we've changed our division problem with these decimal numbers that are hard to deal with into an equivalent division problem with whole numbers that's easy to deal with. And all we need to do now is to do the long division to figure out what the answer is. Okay, so I need to know what is, how many times does 12 go into 2,760. So 12 into 27 goes two times. Two times 12 is 24. 27 minus 24 is three. Bring down the six. 12 into 36 goes three times. 12 times, th 12 times three is 36. Okay, so I've got no remainder now. So when I bring down the zero, 12 is into zero goes zero times. So there's, there's my answer. 230 barrier sections is what we need. Okay, so why did this work? Well, let's think about restating the word problem but instead of using kilometers, let's use meters. Okay, we're gonna have the same stretch of highway, the same length of barrier sections, but instead of kilometers, we'll talk about the problem in terms of meters. So what would that look like? Well, instead of a 2.76 kilometer stretch of highway, we've got a 2,760 meter stretch of highway. It's getting a barrier. Each barrier section, instead of saying 0 0.012 kilometers long, we'll say 12 meters long, same thing. How many barrier sections? Well, we already solved that problem. Right, we solved that problem right here, actually right here when we did the long division. Okay, so this is illustrating that if we can create an equivalent division problem 
that uses whole numbers, whole numbers that are easy to work with, then we can solve the original problem with the decimals that at first sight looks like it might be kind of tricky to solve. Okay, so that brings us to a couple of questions. And you want to think about how to solve these problems using division, but without using a calculator. So question one, so this one is like the cheese on the pizza example. Suppose that two fifths of a door requires one third of a can of paint. How much paint do I need for the whole door? So this will be a fraction division problem. And if you want to draw a picture to help you, you'll draw a picture of a door divided into fifths and you're gonna put paint on two of those fifths. You've got a third of a can of paint, so divide that third into two equal parts and put one part on one of the fifths and the other part on the other fifth. And then you should be able to see from your diagram how, men, how much paint you'll need for the whole door. And then question two, Suppose the government of a country with 2 million citizens has a tax surplus of $0.6 billion. If the government gives an equal size tax rebate to each citizen, how much do they each get? So this is a division problem that involves really big numbers, numbers with lots of zeros in. And they can be kind of challenging to work with as well. So what you want to do here is employ the same strategy we used for the highway barrier example by creating an equivalent division problem with numbers that are easier to work with. Okay, and with the highway barriers example, we multiplied the dividend and the divisor by a thousand to make them easier to work with. In this case, you want to take your dividend and your divisor and divide those numbers by 10 an appropriate number of times to make them into numbers that are easier to work with. Okay, so those are the two questions for this video.